podcast. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to install the PPTP daemon for a VPN. Alright, let's get started. Usually I start off with elevating my console so I don't have to type uh, sudo in front of each command I'm issuing. So type in sudo s and show your password usually and then uh, you go ahead and uh, also run apt get update. I'm going to make sure that our repositories are up to date. And then next we are running um, apt-get upgrade, making sure our system is up to date. Okay, if it's not then we have to uh, update our system first. <clears throat> so I'm going to pause that video here for a second. Alright, our upgrade is done. So next thing is we go ahead and install the pptpd service. Type in apt-get install pptpd hit enter, take all the requirements, so next thing we have to do is we have to uh, configure the, the pptpd.conf file, for that you type in nano etc pptpd.conf and then we have to go all the way to the bottom uncommon those two lines and change that uh, those IP addresses to whatever IP address scheme you want to use for your VPN network. Now remember this is totally different from your local uh, network that you have set up and uh, in my case I'm going to change it to 250 and then I want to hand out IP addresses anywhere from 200 to 225 and the rest are going to remove yeah. so the remote IP means it's the DHCP address um, scope that it will hand out IP addresses to any VPN connection and then the local IP is the gateway for the VPN connection so for the client so it actually can talk to your internal network and your VPN server will do all the translation but we come later to that <coughs> so we go ahead and uh, save this and then the next uh, file we have to modify is the pptpd.options file so type in nano etc ppp slash pptpd Dash options and then we have to find the statement for the DNS so we scroll further down and we should see right here the MS DNS setting so if you have an internal DNS server you change that to your uh, IP address of your internal DNS server and in other cases you just use a public DNS like what I do here for my second DNS server which would be 8.8.8.8 .8 I'm just utilizing Google's DNS servers right here and then we go ahead and save this file then the next uh, file we have to um, modify is the chap secrets for that you type in nano etc ppp and then chap secrets and here Actually, uh, we can just specify what username on what service with what password um, has access to the VPN server, can actually connect to our network. So in this case, I'm going to uh, type in VPN test as the username, as the server I'm typing in PPTPD, so that it knows that it used that PPTPD daemon. Then, as a password, I'm typing in uh, test password just here for demonstration purposes. And for the IP address, I would just use a asterisk, which means any next available IP address can be used. 
So in that, in my setup, we have about 20, uh, 5, 26 IP addresses available. And then we go ahead and save this file. Then the next one we have to uh, change. Oh no, first, first of all, we want to see if our PPTB daemon is running. So for that, we type in netstat and then AL and P and then grab the port 1723 that's where uh, the PPTP surface is running so we can see right here it is up and running and listening and then um, as the next step we're gonna uh, modify the syscontrol.conf file for that you type in nano etc sys Control.conf, and then here we have to uncomment this line right here that will actually enable our um, system to do IP address forwarding or um, service forwarding, whatever we request as a VPN client, it will be forwarded to our network basically. And then we go ahead and uh, save this file up here. And then we're gonna check our changes with the command syscontrol p and we see here it is enabled up and running and then the next one is the nano etc rc local and this file here we have to add four new uh, lines we basically go ahead and enable our firewall and masquerading um, capabilities for that connection. So I have prepared that already here and paste this in. So you're gonna type this one up, stop, pause the video right here and type this up, put that in your rc.local file. And when you're done, you go ahead and save this. And then we go ahead and um, restart our PPTB daemon to uh, reload all the changes that we uh, performed so we issue the command service pptpd and then restart and that restarted our service and then basically it is done our VPN server is uh, set up and running so the only thing that is left to do for you is go into your uh, firewall and poke a hole through the firewall on port 1723 for the TCP protocol and the GRE protocol and uh, point this service to an internal server this server that you just set up and then you're good to go with your um, external clients to connect via VPN to your network I hope this video was helpful if you have any um, comments or um, criticism on that please do so and post it right here in my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and see you next time.